Hello, Sagittarius Fears. I'm going to see what's going on with your situation. A couple weeks ago, I was getting that yeah, your person was feeling a lot of uh, pain, nostalgia, regret. And they're thinking a lot about the last time they saw you, something about the last thing they said to you or the last thing that they did with you. Maybe some of you guys got in an argument with them the last time you guys talked, or maybe there's, it could be something special too. I mean, it could just be, you know, the last night they saw you was really romantic. Um, maybe you guys knew that was the last night you'd see each other for a while, but they're really in their head about that. Or at least they were a couple weeks ago, but I'll see what the current energy is. <laughs> Cannot make it up. I often, oh my gosh. <clears throat> How is that for confirmation? I often think about the last night we saw each other. <laughs> I'm aware you're my soulmate or twin flame. You're the one. So you might have told this person about this and maybe they kind of, Maybe thought they thought it was crazy or they didn't understand it, but now they're starting to understand it. They're starting to, to see for themselves. I've come so close to messaging you. I start typing things out, but then I end up overthinking it and end up deleting everything that I wrote. Might be a sense of pride, which would make sense for those of you, because the, the last time that they saw you was really in their mind right now, but that could be good or bad. For some of you, it was an argument and they're upset over the argument and there was miscommunication that took place with the argument. And so they're really wanting to clear the air and, and you know, tell their side and, and make things right. Um, for others of you, it's just romantic. Like there, there was a really emotional moment between you two last time you guys saw each other. And they're just, they're thinking about that. There's something, there might have been something specific that you said or did that really stuck in their head you know you might have called you might have said this you might have said like hey i think you might be my soulmate or my twin flame um there's something about it that's just really sticking out in their mind i don't know if i'm brave enough for this kind of love so there's still some fear here i'm waiting for you to give uh, i'm waiting for you to give me a clear opening i don't know how you feel i want some clarity and i want certainty before i reach out to you so there's a bit of like a pride thing, an ego thing here for some of them where they're not sure how you feel and they're not willing to take the risk right now. I'm aware that we're telepathically communicating. So we have a deep spiritual bond that kind of goes hand in hand with the, the um, near the one card, the soulmate or twin flame. They're coming into some sort of a awareness, some sort of psychic epiphanies here, it looks like. I'm romantic and I'm emotional. I usually hide it well, but you bring out my softer side. I love you. I can't handle being apart from you any longer. Well, that's good energy, isn't it? I'm afraid of getting hurt, but I'm willing to take a leap of faith for you. You're so empathic, empathetic and kind and thoughtful, and it's inspiring me to open up to you. I had a huge epiphany. There's a lot of spiritual psychic energy in this spread where someone came to some kind of realization about you. I feel like this person's feeling very emotional they're feeling very nostalgic and they're taking more responsibility for themselves i feel like in the past they might have um, put blame on you or argued with you and there is some some fear there is some some tendencies to sabotage that you know they kind of they might have ghosted you some of them like to run but they're they're rethinking things now they're really reconsidering everything i'm trapped in a stagnant unhappy situation i'm drained and distracted hmm you're so different than anyone I've ever met. You've helped me become a better person. So they might be going through some hard, lonely times, but the thought of you, the, the memory of you is getting them through it. I will always find you. I'll always come back for you. This does seem like a soulmate or a twin flame uh, story here, possibly a life partner. I can't figure out who I am or what I want. There's still kind of some confusion here. You're my best friend. I'm being watched. This could be a karmic situation too. There might be someone around them, but they're wanting to reach out. I lied to myself and I tried to convince myself that it was best for us to go our separate ways, but it's like they know that wasn't best. They were just choosing their pride or their fear or their ego, but now they're kind of realizing that, you know, this part, like you're my best friend, you know, like I, like they know what they want now. They might have, someone might have messed up and chosen something else or someone else over you and now they're realizing it was a mistake, but they're kind of like screwed. They're kind of trapped in their, um, they're trying to figure out how they can come forward now because they might have gotten themselves, so they might have bitten off more than they could chew. They might have gotten themselves into some kind of situation. 
could be friends or family or a karmic uh, someone around them or people around them that don't really like you. That could be the situation for a few of you. Let's pull some tarot cards. Two of Pentacles, so finding a balance here. So for this, for this energy group, you know, especially for those of you that have been with me for six months or so, this has been a continued story about someone that has commitment issues, but the commitment issues aren't based out of, and I'm just reiterating this for new people on my channel, the commitment issues aren't based out of, um, you know, uh, lust or just a desire to mess around or shallowness or anything like that. This is these commitment issues. This person's actually a very deep emotional thinker, but I feel like they are damaged, you know, like they might've had a damaging childhood. They might've gone through a lot. Um, might be some strained relationships with their uh, parents for some of them. And I feel like, I just feel like the commitment issues are deep rooted. Like there's, and this could, this could, the damage could also be from exes. They might have a long line of exes that just really broke their heart. And, you know, someone hurt them really bad. You know, someone or multiple people hurt them bad. There might have been a series of people that just kept screwing them over, taking advantage, using them for money, um, you know, messing with them. And at some point, I think your person said, you know what, I'm not going to be this person anymore. I'm not going to be the, the nice guy or the nice girl anymore. I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, stop wearing my heart on my sleeve and I'm going to be stronger and I'm not going to let people do this to me anymore. And your person just kind of, they changed. They changed. It might have been overnight. It might have been over time. I feel like for a lot of them it was over time, but I feel like it was building up over time. And then they, they their final heartbreak, they just made that decision. They're like, never again, never again. I'm not ever going to let someone do that to me again. Um, but, you know, being a soulmate or a twin flame connection, you can kind of see that person that they are. And the thing, the thing about this, this story that gives me hope is that they actually are working on themselves. So a lot of times if I get this energy and they don't see a problem with their ways and they're just doing the same old, same old all the time, I'm like, okay, it's not worth it. Let it go. But in this particular group, the, your person actually is working on it. Your person actually does want to be a better person. They do want to be good for you. They do want to be loyal and stable and reliable. But this feels like someone who might go from job to job or, or um, or they might move around a lot. They might go from relationship to relationship. Uh, like they just, it's like they have a lot of passion and a lot of emotion. Like they're a very deep thinker, but I feel like they don't know what to do with all that energy. And it's like, they just have to go, go, go. Like they're like restless, you know, like they're bored, they're lonely with their lives. Like they have to just keep going, going, going. And it's like, they just want to rest, but they're, they're so hard on themselves and they push themselves so hard. So for so long, and I think that they just, they have a fear of commitment. This is almost someone that like, wouldn't want to buy a house because they, they don't know where they're going to be in five years. You know, this is like a wanderer type. It's like someone who just, it's like, they can't seem to relax and it's the commitment issues they're afraid of getting attached to a home or a house or an apartment they're afraid of getting too attached to a person they're afraid of getting too attached to a vehicle even or to a job so it's kind of like they've been living their lives just you know constantly going after the next new thing you know and not letting themselves get too emotionally invested in in anyone or anything um so for those of you that have been watching this story for a while you you can tell if you go back and look at readings I did six, seven months ago compared to not where we are now, this person has actually done a lot of inner work and, and healing to get out of that energy because they reached a certain point where they're like, you know what, like I just, I just want to be able to rest. I want a home, a family. I want to be happy. And before this person was in denial about that, like they wouldn't accept that they wanted a family because they they were too afraid to get hurt again. They were too afraid to, to want that kind of, to want that, you know, or they might've been afraid that they'd be a bad father or a bad mother, or they just, they, they were just too, they just didn't think it was for them. They didn't feel like they could have that for whatever reason, but this person's actually very family oriented, even though they don't seem like they are, because it's like, they've, you probably can see it in them a little bit. You probably get the sense that they're family oriented, but it's like, they hide it. They try to, they try to, um, 
It's like they try to hide it. Like they don't fully admit it. You know what I mean? And I'm just getting, yeah, I'm, I'm getting the sense of that they've come a long way the past year, especially 2020. That was, there was probably a lot of tower moments for them, a lot of, of healing, a lot of clarity took place. They really started facing themselves and, you know, going through the dark night of the soul and facing their deepest truths and finally accepting that they are a family oriented person, that they, they do want to finally be able to rest and plant some roots and, um, not have to just jump, you know, jump from thing to thing because they're too afraid of getting too emotionally attached to someone or something, you know, like they're wanting that they're, they're, they're terrified. They're terrified. Don't get me wrong, but they're wanting the emotional attachments now because they're tired. They've exhausted themselves jumping from place to place, person to person, situation to situation. They, they're exhausted. They're tired. They just want to rest and heal and be cuddled and loved like they just they want to feel at home finally they're tired of not feeling at home and they haven't allowed themselves to feel at home like whenever they start feeling that it's like they kind of they run you know when they start feeling that with someone or when they start feeling that with a, with a certain place or whatever it's like they they get afraid that they're going to lose it and they sabotage it and they run you know this might be someone that ghosts people a lot too or they have in the past so, so yeah, 2020, I feel like they've done a lot of healing. Like they've really, they might've gone through a lot of rough things that made them that way, that made them think like, okay, life is precious. Like I want, I want to settle down. I want a family. I want a home. Like I don't want to, I don't want to run the rest of my life. Like they're just so tired of running. They've exhausted themselves. They've sabotaged so many good opportunities in their life and they don't want to do that anymore is really the energy that I, I'm getting here. And, um, and if this is your reading and you want me to go more in depth into your person, how they're feeling about you, if they, if they're thinking about coming back, um, whatever you want to know, just send me an email. My email address is below, um, in the description box. It is dragon enchantress at awol.com. But, but yeah, it's right in the description box below. So you can just copy and paste it. Um, but anyway, so, so yeah, for those of you that have been following me for, for months, like, you know, it's been, it's been a continuous story, you know, it's the same energy, but it's like, they've, they've changed, like they, they've matured. It's been kind of, um, a bit of a roller coaster up and down, you know, there's sometimes when, when I'll channel them and they're really afraid and something's triggered them and they're kind of pulling back a bit, but, but overall the energy I've gotten consistently over the months is that they are progressing. They are doing better. They are facing these truths. They are accepting they're, they're afraid of the vulnerability, but they're pushing themselves out of their comfort zone and healing and, and making themselves be vulnerable more and more like they're, they're, you know, thinking about the future more instead of just, you know, doing whatever, um, they're, they're accepting themselves. They're accepting that they're family oriented. They're accepting that they need more from life. So, so yeah, this person has gone through a lot the past year and they're really, they really are healing. They really are changing. It's just been a, con a continuous story. Um, let's see what the cards have to say. The Hierophant. Queen of Wands. Chariot. Hmm. That's interesting energy. What comes after the Chariot? Justice. Okay. So you might have some justice here regarding this situation. Six of Wands. Queen of Cups. Okay, interesting. Interesting. I feel like this person is really kind of um, trying to be more, trying to get out of anxiety and poverty, and they're trying to be more financially stable, maybe being in the public eye more. Um, they're trying to be like the hierophant. It's like society traditions. They're trying to do the right thing. They're trying to, maybe they couldn't hold down a stable job before, and they're trying to do that. They're trying to focus on their passions more. Um, and they could also be choosing between two people and you might have justice coming in where they're choosing you and they're coming forward really quickly. This could also be that you had to be in this energy where you had to, and this could be male or female, you know, 
um, whoever is in feminine energy, male or female, it doesn't matter. The queen of wands, it's like maybe you had to be kind of seductive and charming to get their attention. And now it's like you get to be the queen of cups. You get to just be emotional and loving. And they can accept that now. They can they can accept that love. Whereas before you had to kind of play games because they were too afraid otherwise, you know? And so it's like almost like you had to tread gently with them because otherwise they, they got spooked. Um, so maybe, maybe you're coming into a new energy in this connection where before you had to be the queen of wands, but now you get to be the queen of cups. You get to be your empathetic, loving self without them getting afraid or taking it for granted. Um, but you have some kind of justice coming in with this situation. It looks like. Son of wands, ace of cups. Yeah, you have, you might have a love offer coming in here. Um, what is their most likely action towards you over the next couple weeks? King of Pentacles. So the King of Pentacles moves slowly, but he's, I mean, he can move slowly, but he's like, he's loyal. He's stable. He's grounded. So they might, they might be trying to better their finances before they come forward. That could be part of it. Eight of Wands is fast moving energy though. So I kind of see it. They're working out a few little details and then they want to come forward quickly. There's an awkwardness, though, because they don't... There's an Eight of Swords. Like, Eight of Swords traditionally is, is someone who's... They have swords all around them, and they have their castle and their true love and their home right in front of them, but they're so focused on the swords that they don't know that they could just wake up and right, walk right out. And I feel like this is regarding the connection with you guys is, like... They might have messed up, so they might not know that they have another chance, or they might not... Um, they might not feel like they might still be in that because there's still a little bit of a side of them that's sabotaging. You know, they've the past year they've been working on very deep rooted issues that have probably been going on for years and years. So it's not like it just goes away overnight. So it's like still like a little bit of sabotage there where it's like they have they can have the happiness, but it's like they almost doubt it. Like, could it really be that easy? Like, could it really be that that good? But they are coming out of they've they've come out of stagnant energy and they're continuing to come out of stagnant energy. Two of Cups is a love offer. Yeah. The world. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Hmm. Maybe you're going through some financial stuff and they're wanting to take care of you. Or they're wanting, maybe they feel like you took care of them in the past, be it financially, emotionally, like you were the stable one. And now it's like you're not able to be the stable one as much, but they're wanting, they're okay with that. Or maybe they're thinking like they don't know what's going on with you, but they're like, you know what, even if she's not in a great place, or even if he's not in a great place, like they've been there for me in the past. So I'm going to, I'm going to take care of them like financially, emotionally, mentally. Okay. What's stopping them from coming forward? Two of Pentacles trying to find a balance, finances, trying to get finances in order, anxiety, um, isolation, confusion, like just sadness, causing their own sadness and not knowing. There might have been some harsh communication between you two that they're still kind of on their head, still kind of on their mind. And they're, um, that'd be why they're moving so slowly because they're like, oh, like they're, they're not sure what to do next. Okay. Any final messages here? And again, if you want a reading, my um, my details are right below. My email is in the description box below. So just send me an email. King of Wands, Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, they're wanting to put the work in finally. I'm getting that they don't want to run like they used to. They want it, They want a new life. I'm getting that they do want a new life with you. There's still that fear that they're working through, though. Um they might have, that might be that maybe some tower moments are what made them realize that they want this new life with you. Like maybe it's like life is precious kind of energy. They're like, they want reward for all they've been through, you know, and there's like silence or miscommunication between you two right now. And that's devil energy that they're not sure how to get through. They're not sure how to get past that devil energy, but they're wanting to, they're wanting to, um, it's almost like they're strict about it, though. Like, they're kind of, like, guarded, you know? As you see, like, this person has their shield because they're almost, like, afraid of that devil energy. They're afraid of the arguments or the miscommunication or that, you, that you're that you going to hurt them or they're going to hurt you. Like, there's still some kind of, like, anxieties and fears. But they're trying to, um, I mean, they're, it's like they're shielding themselves a little bit, but they're still wanting to fight this. They're still wanting to um, to offer some kind of love here. So, so yeah. 
it's it's good energy overall um so yeah if you want an email if you want to if you want an email if you want a private reading just email me below um if it resonates please subscribe and any donations are appreciated even just a dollar it really adds up quickly thank you guys for watching